Hey everybody, it's Christine up today with a new layout showcasing Doodlebug Design, which was part of the Flavors of the Month kit from the Scrap Room this month. And this theme of this collection is like sweets and treats and that kind of stuff. So I decided to roll with that and tell the story of my new hobby, which is cookie decorating. So because I had the title Sprinkle available to me, I decided to do the Sprinkle Life. Um, so kind of a play on words of, you know, the, the sweet life or the thug life or <laughs> whatever. Um, so I did the Sprinkle Life and I am using the big Sprinkle ephemera piece right there in the middle. And then I cut down the stripes from the striped paper in this page kit. And I have lined those up to be vertical stripes down the middle of the page. So one of my goals with this was to kind of line the colors up with the word sprinkle. So you'll see like the pink stripe underneath the S and underneath the K and the red stripe underneath the P and so on and so forth. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add some photo mats using that plaid paper that I also used for my base. And I'm gonna just tuck those underneath my photos and I will add a picture of both one of myself with a whole bunch of different frostings and then another one of some of the cookies I made. I'm also going to add the washi tape that came in with the page kit and embellishment kit. I'm going to add that in and use that along the side and just bring the eye out a little bit to the side not have it be quite so much white space especially with the white up against the white patterned paper. Now in case you're unfamiliar with the scrap room they do offer the flavors of the month kit which includes four page kits of four different collections as well as they offer the embellishment kit, they offer patterned paper kits, they offer the double shot kit which has two page kits um, and so lots of options there. The flavors of the month kit includes patterned papers, it includes cardstock, it includes a little bit of embellishments, all meant to give you a little taste of each of those new collections available from a variety of scrapbooking manufacturers. So the letter stickers that I have here came with the embellishment kit, page kit, um, one of the two, I can't even remember at this moment, um, but they came within one of those two and obviously they're doodle bug um and so i thought they would work really nicely next to the sprinkle word and allow me to expand that title as i mentioned earlier and so i'm just putting those kind of centered vertically across the sprinkle word so they're not lined up at the bottom or lined up at the top but they're lined up with the middle and then I will really dig into my embellishing, which honestly the embellishing is pretty simple on this one, uh, just because there's a lot going on in the background already. Alongside my title, I went ahead and added a couple of little baking elements, um, some fussy cut, some ephemera, and just used those to extend the title outward. Um, and that will just, you know, create, add to the whimsy, create a little more whimsy, that kind of thing that always makes a title a little bit more fun, especially when you've already got kind of a whimsical title going on. Now, carrying on that whimsical theme, I am going to take my title a little further and add sprinkles to the layout. So what I did is I used a little teeny tiny heart punch. This is a punch that I just got for a dollar at Michael's. And I punched out a bunch of hearts using that same striped paper. And then I am just going to sprinkle those all over the top and the bottom of those stripes there. Um, again, playing up that whimsy and such. So there's several ways to approach putting the sprinkles on. What I decided to do was just to take my liquid glue and put dots all over the place. 
add the hearts, and then see where there are holes that I wanted to fill in. Um, you can be much more organized about this if that's your approach to things. Um, this is an area of life I didn't have to be organized, so I ran with it. <laughs> um, so all that said, this is coming together to be a really cool layout with some fun and unique details to make it its own. Um, I am going to tuck one more little detail in, and you will catch that here at the end. I'm going to tuck some yellow patterned paper in as kind of as a banner behind my pictures just to bring in one more pop of color uh, and everything is so vertical at this point that I feel like the title looks kind of awkward on its own horizontal so adding in that yellow behind that will bring in a little more horizontal to the whole thing so all that said thank you so much for being here today be sure to visit the scrap room and check out the kids for this month and yeah, keep an eye out on my Instagram channel. You may just be seeing, not channel, sorry, Instagram page. You may just be seeing some cookies popping up here and there too as I play with my creative side in a different way than paper. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.